final round highlights from Latino America Tours Lexus Peru Open held in Lima, Peru. A beautiful trophy there that someone will have on their mantle on the end of this highlight rip. All right, starting with Russell Serber on the third, coming up birdie on the second, on the par five, nearly holds it for eagle, but will tap in for a nice little birdie there. He played the first three holes at six under par for the week. Now we will stay with Serber, head over to the ninth, his approach shot, sitting at 11 under to this point. Serber actually won on PGA Tour Canada back in 2008, but searching for his first win since then and on the Latino America Tour. So he makes the turn at three under par in his round 12 under overall after he drains this short birdie. A beautiful approach there for Serber. And then we will head all the way over to his final hole of the day. Over to the 72nd for Serber, sitting at 10 under to this point. Coming off two bogeys on 16 and 17, comes up short. So this is his fourth shot on the par four. Looking like to be three bogeys in a row, not so fast. He chips in for a huge par save there to finish at 10 under overall. A little bit of a smile there from Serber after what I'm sure was a very frustrating finish. And then we'll head over to the ninth of Sebastian Savedra. He birdied the first, but then recorded three birdies on his front nine before heading over to the ninth, where he leaves himself a long look at his fourth birdie on the front. So he makes the turn at three under on the day and 12 under overall. And then we'll head over to the 12th, staying with Savedra. He has three professional wins, dating back from 2007 and 2008. This is his approach shot on the 12th. Remember, he's sitting at 11 under par to this point in a beautiful look there as he gives himself about eight feet here to move it to 12 under par. Saavedra from Argentina, he would finish up two under on the day. He would drop one coming in though, finishing at 11 under overall. Now over to the third hole, it's Julian at Tulane. Remember, he's already a winner this season, won in Panama earlier this year, and he entered Sunday with a three shot lead. Well, this is his shot from the greenside bunker on the third as he gets it close and he would make birdie to quickly get it back to 14 under par after dropping one earlier in the round. And then we'll head over to the 18th. He's one over on his round to clear the field, but looking to distance himself even further. Remember, Ed Tulane entered this week third on the money list. A second win would easily put him first on the money list, which means a lot. It means full status on the web.com tour next season. This for Birdie to get back to even par on his round, but more importantly, win by three for his second victory on Latino America Tour in 2014 season.